Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Pandas tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, I want to show you how to use the DataFan to Excel method. So Excel is the most popular spreadsheet software out there today, where more than half billion users out there worldwide. And so with Pandas, which is the most popular data analysis library for Python. So I think it's very important for any data analysts out there today who uses Pandas knowing how to manipulate Excel spreadsheet uh, using the Pandas library. So in this video, we'll learn how to use the pandas.dataframe.2xl method uh, from scratch. I'll be going over the material very extensively. It's because um, if you look at the documentation right here, uh, this 2xl method has quite many uh, parameters. And I'll be going each parameter one by one uh, throughout uh, this tutorial. And for now, I think the best way to learn how to use the true Excel method is by going over a couple exercises. Now let's go back to our Python editor. So here I already have a, a Python script created. So from the script, I import the NumPy library as well as the pandas library as pd. And for the NumPy library, I named that as uh, np. And right here I have a dummy data frame data set. Now let me just run the select uh, code block. So let me just run them individually. Now if I print the data frame, it will have three columns. So column A, B, and C. And from this data set, we have three index. Index 0, 1, and 2. And I noticed that I have a typo here. So here let me fix the, so let me remove this double quotation. And let me recreate the uh, they are thing. Right, now that looks much better. In column A, I have values from 1 to 3. And in column B, I have uh, 3 letters, so A, B, and C. And in column C, I have 2 uh, null values. So in pandas, uh, pandas use uh, an, an value as null value and followed by just a regular uh, string. And by default, if you want to export a they are friend to Excel, and it's pretty straightforward. So here I have a folder that I'm going to export my Excel spreadsheets to. So if you want to simply just uh, export a single data frame object, you can use the to Excel method and followed by uh, the file path. So let's say I want to you know, save this data frame to my pandas export to Excel folder. And what I need to do is just provide a name. So I'll just name df.xlsx and that's it. So I can just run this uh this statement right here and that will export my data frame data sets to my df uh, Excel spreadsheet. So here if I open my Excel spreadsheet and we have our uh data frame data sets. So column A, B, and C. And for the null value, because null value means uh, this value does not exist, so therefore when we export the data sets, those two values are going to be empty. And also when you export the data frame object, the indexes are also going to get exported. So if you don't want to include the index, so you can set the index uh, parameter to false. And that will basically uh, ignore the index. So when, when you export the data frame data sets. So that's the first example, and something pretty basic. But in real scenario, you are going to have multiple data frame data sets, and you're not going to manually export uh, each data frame data sets individually. Like, you know, for example, if you have three different uh, data frame data sets, you're not going to do DF1 to Excel, DF2 to Excel, DF3 to Excel, and manually uh, export the Excel spreadsheet. And also, if you want to export all the data frame data sets in a single Excel spreadsheet, and this is not the proper way to do it. Now let's look at how we can export multiple data frame data sets to a single Excel spreadsheet. So here in my folder, I have two uh, CSV files. So let me open these two CSV files. So one CSV file contains a list of addresses 
and the other one has a list of uh, content informations. And these are dummy records, so they are not real. And let me close these two CSV files. So this is going to be example number two. Uh, export multiple data frames to Excel, to single Excel. I'll first uh, import those two CSV files and create two different uh, data frames. So I'll name the first data frame DF addresses. So let me make the window a little bigger. I can use the reads, the Azure read CSV method. I'll pass the, the file path. And I'll do the same for uh, the contents uh, CSV file. So I'll name this uh, so I'll name this uh, different object DF contents should be Pro. Let me just double check. Right. Now let me create these two DF frames. So if I print DF addresses, and I can see that I import the CSV file successfully. Now the goal here is how we can uh, export these two DF frames into a single Excel spreadsheet. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create something called Excel Writer. So I'll name this object Excel Writer. And we can use the pandas library, the Excel Writer method. And here we'll create kind of like a Excel object instance that, that ties to an Excel application. And so from the parameters, uh, we only need to provide the Excel uh, file path. And I'm going to name this file multiple dfs.xlsx. And we have additional parameters, but for now, I'm not. I'm just going to ignore those parameters because uh, they are kind of irrelevant and I don't actually use any of those parameters uh, usually. So once you have the Excel Writer object, which is your Excel application uh, instance, we can take the data frames that I want to export to this, to this uh, Excel spreadsheet. So I can reference the to Excel method. And from the parameters, so as you can see that the first parameter is the Excel Writer uh, arguments. So I'll provide the Excel Writer object. And the second parameter is the sheet name. So this is the worksheet name. So I'll name, so I'll name the worksheet name addresses. And I'll set the index to false. And I'll do the same for contents. And here I'm passing the same Excel Writer object. Except that for the sheet name, I'm going to change the sheet name to something that identifies my different object. And just for fun, so I also import my initial um, different data sets to uh, the spreadsheet as well. So I'll do the same. So diff dot to Excel. I'll pass the Excel writer object. And for the sheet name, I'll just name this as uh, diff. And for the index, I'm going to set that to false. And once we're finished, we need to close the, the Excel file. So to finish the, the Excel saving process. And that's it. Now, if I just run this block of code, uh, let me and go back to my folder. So let me look for the Excel file. So right here. And if we look at the Excel spreadsheet, so we have three tabs addresses, contacts, and DF. So here we have our uh, DF, DF and data sets, contacts, uh, data sets, and addresses. And that's my routine, how I usually export multiple DF and data sets uh, to a single Excel spreadsheet. Now that's the second example. And for the last example, I just want to show you how to use uh, each parameter of the two Excel method. Now let me bring back the documentation. So let me make the let me zoom in a little bit more. So I already covered the Excel Writer parameter, uh, she name, and I'll I'll cover the many uh, parameters. So here this is gonna be example example number three. How to 
use uh, different parameters. And I'll reference my DF, uh, DFM object as well, that to Excel. And I'll pass my Excel Writer uh, object. Actually, like, let's create a different, let's create a new Excel Writer object. So I'll name this as uh, Excel Writer DF. And this should be Excel Writer. I'll name this as DF, uh, DF2.XLSX. And I'll write uh, each parameter name, so individually. So this one will be Excel Writer. And we'll pass the Excel Writer DF uh, object. And for the sheet name, so I'll name this as DF2. And this any wrap means that uh, for the missing value, like what values do you want to use to fill the to fill those missing values? So let me take this uh, uh, this block of code right here. So let me put it back, maybe right here. So that parameter is saying that uh, so if the if the values are not value, do you want to replace any other values? So let's say I want to replace those values with. Uh, let me write the parameter name first. I want to fill this value with uh, a text, so missing. And for the float format, so for some reason, uh, I can never get this parameter to work. But what this parameter does is, uh, if your uh, so if your data set contains any columns that is numerical data type, such as decimal, integer. And for example, my column A is a, a integer data type. And how do you want to format those numbers? You can format those numbers as two decimal points or one decimal point, and depends. But here, using the so excuse me, I forgot the parameter name. Using the flow format parameter, you can specify the the number format. And since I can never get this parameter to work uh, correctly all the time, I'm actually going to ignore this one. So let's move on to the next parameter, which is the columns parameter. The columns parameter is asking uh, from your data frame data sets, what columns do you want to export? Let's say I only want to export column B and column C. We'll provide this and followed by the column name. So when I export um, this data frame to Excel spreadsheet, only column B and column C will get uh, exported. And next one is the index. So index is whether or not if you want to export the index value as well. And I'm going to set the index to false. And the header parameter is asking, do you want to import the, the column name? So column A, column B, and column C, those are the header name. So I can set the value to false. So I'll set the value to false. And actually, I changed my mind. So I'm going to set the index value to 2. And because I want to show you this uh, parameter that ties to the index parameter. If you want to rename the index label, so here we can uh, do that as well. But you must set the index uh, parameter value to 2. And once you do that, so we can rename the index label. And I know for my data sets, I have uh, three rows of records. So I can so I'll say row number 1, row number 2, and row number 3. And we can also set the star row. So star row parameter is asking which row do you want to insert the table. So I'll set the row value to five, and also set the the column to five. So star column uh, is asking uh, from which column do you want to insert the the table. So in this case, I'm actually inserting the the table at cell reference C. So it should be E5. And the last parameter is the freeze panes parameter. Using the freeze panes parameter, you can set the area where you want those area to be always visible. So let's say I want to set the first row, first six rows, and the first two columns to be always visible. <coughs> so what I want to do is I want to provide a tuple. And the first parameter is the row. So the first six rows, I want those rows to be always visible. And next, I want to provide the column name. So I want the first two columns to be always visible. So in this case, will be column A and B. 
and for the rows will be uh, row one to row six. And here I forgot the comma. And let me just double check. So I've got another comma right here. All right now that's pretty much it. So uh, these are the parameters that uh, I found most useful, and I use them very frequently when I want to export the data frames, uh, data sets to an Excel file. And once we're finished, so we need to close the Excel Writers object. And that's it. Now if I run uh, the block of code, and here I'm getting an error, so start row. Let's see. Oh, so without the underscore, should be start row. Right, let me try again. So if I export the uh, this data from the asset to an Excel file, and this time I'm able to execute the the code successfully. Now let me go back to my folder. So I'm looking for DF2, and this is my Excel spreadsheet. By looking at this Excel file, so I'm gonna have one uh, one data set, and which is DF2, and I'm inserting my tables uh, in cell F6. Okay, so that means for the start row and the start column, the base array value is starting from zero. So five will become a six in terms of Excel column and row number. And we have the, the index. So for some reason, the index uh, label didn't get converted to uh, strings. So this is something I need to do a little, a little bit more investigating. And so we set the header to false. Should we move this to the right? And, and so here we set the, the header prime argument to false. So therefore we're not importing the header. And we set the columns argument to column B and column C. So that means we're only importing uh, column B and column C. And as well as we fill those null values with the, the word missing. And for the freeze panes, so remember we want the first six rows plus the first two columns to be always visible. Now if I scroll down and scroll to the right, and as you can see that uh, this area right here, which is I set using freeze panes prime arguments, and it's always going to be visible in my Excel spreadsheet. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.